Friends, on this second Sunday of Easter, we, the church celebrates the Divine Mercy Sunday. A Sunday in which the church gives us an opportunity to reflect deeply on the mercy of God and the need to accept His mercy which He offers. As we recall in Deuteronomy, He, he reminded the people that He will show mercy to whom He will show mercy and he will bless whom he will bless. And in the midst of all this, the crisis caused by the pandemic, I started reflecting on what life is, where we're coming from, where we are, and where we are going. And I began to question myself that in the midst of all the advancement in science and technology, in the midst of all the growth, in the midst of all the sophistications of life and humanity, one thing is common to all, as I can imagine, survival. That made me to deep think deeply and to wonder when I hear people who claim or live their life as if they don't owe any allegiance to something external of themselves, and when I see people who, who, come, who are convinced, as they express it, that there's nothing external or supernatural, I begin to wonder why hasn't with we, with all the advancement, been able to give a certain solution or answer to the questions being raised by this pandemic. Um, there has been a lot of pro projections, a lot of speculations, a lot of uh, um, propaganda, a lot of uh, talk about what the coronavirus meant, what is it all about. But there has never been, have not, unless you know, um, an agreeable, certain solution. So that made me to think that this is a time that all of us need to turn to the mercy of God, to reevaluate our lives and cry out to God that He shows us His mercy, His mercy, and heal our land. So on today, as we celebrate as a church the Divine Mercy Sunday, invite you to, to think deeply within you and reflect on this message that um, St. Faustina between 1931 to 1938, thereabout, um, gave us this message of divine mercy and the need to turn to the God of mercy who is willing to show mercy that will return, as we recall and reflect on the ABC, ABCs of uh, Divine Mercy, which are that we ask God for mercy, that we ask God for mercy and be courageous to accept His mercy. And second, that we become merciful, we become witnesses of His mercy, become merciful to everyone, to ourselves, and to the world. And above all, that we have confident trust in the power of God to save, in the power of God to show mercy, in the power of God to restore. Like I said, I've reflected about all this. The only hope we have is in the mercy of God. As I think about it, as I reflect, the mercy of God is all we need. That we submit to that mercy. That we submit to Him, accepting His mercy and asking for His mercy by being merciful to people and being, having confident trust in His power to show mercy and to heal our land. May God bless us, may God show us mercy, and may He hear our cry, the cry of the world, 
seeking his mercy and asking him to heal us and restore us again and again. God bless you and thank you.